We are here today because our own country has done the most unconscionable and immoral and heinous act towards children. Imagine toddlers being imprisoned in cages. I'm not talking about a dictatorship around the world. I'm talking about what is happening right now in the United States of America. We're here today because we are, have filed a complaint against the separation of children and the caging of children that is being conducted by the United States administration promulgated by President Donald J. Trump and Attorney General Jeff, um, Jeff Sessions. Starting with this infamous Muslim ban, President Trump has launched draconian measures that have created a state of fear and horror for immigrants across our country. This administration, this administration has indiscriminately deported tens of thousands of hardworking residents from our nation. He has stripped the rights of our dreamers in the only country they have ever known to stay here and ordered the end of TPS, temporary protective status, for hundreds of thousands of Nicaraguans, Haitians, Hondurans, Sudanese, Nepalese, and Salvadorians. Overall, this administration's policies are targeted at attacks on immigrants whose religion and skin color are offensive to the president and his cabinet members. That is the reality. That's the context of why we're here. I think the legality is, is an aside, and I don't mean to brush it off, but the legality, there are a lot of things law permits us to do that our country and its people have a right to expect it not to do. This is not a law that's being enforced. It's a policy. It's a directive. I'm here because I'm angry. I'm here because children right now are in jails, in detention centers, behind bars, ripped from their families' arms. I can recall a time in our history, a very painful time in our history, when black bodies were sold and children were ripped from their families, from their arms. And children were sold to other countries and to other families, and the families were never, ever re reunited. We need to know where these centers are in the Bronx. There's three of them in the Bronx. We need um, to know exactly where they are so that individuals, attorneys like myself, can represent these individuals pro bono, that we can provide them with services, and that we can hold them and love them, and we can reunite them with their families. So we think that exposing more of a spotlight on what this is and what are the root causes, but also what are the impacts that this is having on the people, on the babies, on the mothers and fathers, the families that are being separated, by actually shining a spotlight on this and highlighting the fact that there's so much, so many people in this world who stand in complete opposition to this, we think that that's a huge outcome that we can get. We, teachers and nurses, with some clergy, will go down to El Paso, or we'll go to El Paso, we have members there, we'll go to, we'll go to El Paso and to Tornillo next Tuesday. We will try to deliver some toys and books to the children that are in Tornillo. We'll try to actually see the children in Tornillo, but we will um, really, cr um, teachers and nurses want to be on the front lines calling out this travesty of justice, calling out this heinous act against humanity. This crosses political boundaries, religious boundaries, and all of us will stand up